All right, what's up, guys? It's TRL, and today some devastating and breaking news. Our best wide receiver, DeAndre Hopkins, will be out for the first six games of the 2022 season for a drug policy fail. Now, this this really pisses me off. Um, you know, I it made me just like I don't know. It's just it's a it's a stupid move. Like, it sh this really should not have happened, but the reality is it did, and now we have to move on for the first six weeks without him. Now, the thing is, I'm just glad we were able to get a, a, a receiver before this shit happened because um, we needed a replacement for Christian Kirk as it was. So we got him, and now Hollywood's going to have to be the guy that replaces Hopkins for the first six games, which... You know, I'm just glad him and Kyler already have chemistry, you know, and we do have the receivers that it takes to be able to hold off the first six games. We still got Hollywood. Rondale Moore, which he probably most likely will be the wide receiver too now. AJ Green, I'm I I don't know, maybe he'll have a couple plays that'll spark a bit, and then we still have our tight end duo. We have Zach Ertz and Max Williams. Uh, I highly doubt we'll use Trey McBride that much, but we'll see how that one goes. And the thing that the only thing that terrifies me is how Kyler how Kyler is going to uh, handle this situation, because if you look at his stats from last year, I think he uh, with Hopkins, he was completing around 75 to 80 percent of his pass attempts. And when he got injured last year without Hopkins, his completion percentage went down to 60 and I think his yards per attempt went from like 8.5 to the 6-yard per attempt range. So obviously, with Hopkins out, it sort of changes the way Kyler plays. That's the only thing I'm really worried about. Other than that, I think we'll be okay. It all just depends on how Kyler really takes the situation. Because, uh, you know, he has what he, needs now, he, what he needs now on offense, with or without Hopkins. But, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I really... Obviously, it's a big loss, but I don't think, you know, it's going to be too serious. Uh, you know, the schedule comes out on May 12th. Obviously, right now, we don't know the opponents that Hopkins won't be playing against. But And you would assume that two of those games are probably, at least two of those games are probably going to be division rivals. So we just need to see how the team handles the situation on the field. But anyway, guys, that's about it. DeAndre Hopkins, come back soon because we really do need you. But... That's all I got, guys. See you in the next one. Peace out.